My name is Jessica Stearns, and I'm an intern with the Show Me Institute. Last week, we saw rallies across the country that argued for a $15 minimum wage. However well-intentioned this may be, unfortunately, this has drastic economic effects for entry-level workers and consumers across the board. With such an increase in labor costs, businesses are going to have to plan for the future. They're going to have to increase prices, which will be passed off to the consumer. They're going to have to cut the hours for those entry-level workers, or they can even cut jobs. A 2014 report done by the Congressional Budget Office that estimated the effects of raising the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour showed that over half a million jobs would be lost as a result. What this means is those half a million jobs are going to be those entry-level workers who are seeking a higher wage. Now imagine if the minimum wage was increased to $15 an hour. As a result, many more workers would lose their jobs. As well-intentioned as this policy may seem, such a drastic increase in the minimum wage will only end up hurting the very people it is meant to help. We have several events coming up at the Show Me Institute. On April 30th in Kansas City, Dr. Eric Hanischek will be talking about the value of teacher quality. And in May, we'll have a policy breakfast here in St. Louis. The speakers will include Senator Bob Onder and Senator Joe Keevney. Come hear these legislators provide a wrap-up of the 2015 Missouri Legislative Session. To register, go to showmeinstitute.org and click on the Events tab.